Paul Allen Award for Best Developer. Masahiro Sakurai. CD Project Red. Sega. Nintendo. Masahiro Sakurai versus Nintendo. Characters that we have in the game, and I just thought it was something that would be really interesting. And I immediately came up with, uh, you know, the image of of, of Snake. With two percent of the U.S. population was playing games, and then now jump to uh, last October. Masahiro Sakurai. From successfully helming one of the Big N's biggest franchises to directing bangers like Kid Icarus Uprising, Sakurai has continued to prove himself time and time again as one of the best developers in the industry, and the latest Smash has once more continued this trend. His mysterious mindset has puzzled fans and sparked discussion across the web as he continues to add and strip away various features to the hot pot of a series he makes. One day, he'll pop up in a random photo with a big-name dev. The next, someone entirely unrelated is confirmed for Smash. The man's a Japanese Ryan Johnson of video games. Putting aside maddening decisions he makes regarding the roster, you can't help but respect a man who will literally work himself to death if it means his fans are satisfied. He did retire about three smashes ago, after all. And yet, even with such rigorous work ethic, Sakurai will scour entire console libraries to find any reference or fan service he can to please his players. Sakurai may look young, but the man's a seasoned veteran of the industry with a passion for making things right. It's been over a decade since Brawl V. I think it's time to let it go and forgive him.